It is finally time to decorate for Christmas. I've been so excited also to show you that barn over that way. And I've got all the Christmas stuff out and I've kind of started, but not really. So I'm super excited to start. So here's a box and it says, she like towards stable Christmas decoration. Also in here we have a little box full of Bulbos and some mini tiny Christmas trees. We also have this sleigh that I'm so excited to use this year, and a whole bunch of like trees and stuff that I'm so excited to put out. So let's just get started. So I have added these present lights that are like little Christmas presents that are light in this stable, and it lights up the paddocks too so it's pretty cool and they'll look so good at night if you haven't noticed i've actually changed the setup like a lot but i think there'll be a barn tour coming up but i'm just not sure when okay starting with these trees we're going to put one in the stallions and in the mat i also found this the main Christmas tree, which I'm so excited, but I don't know where to put it. I'm thinking I'm just going to put it here because it looks quite nice and it's really like in the center of the stable. If you're wondering where the arenas are, I put lights in them. They're quite cool and they kind of just light up like everywhere. Okay, next I'm going to put some like things on like the windows on this main barn. So let's try and find some stuff in here. I've, I found these two guys that are so cute and cool for Christmas. They like light up snow globes. And I'm just gonna put them out of the front, but I actually have to put the batteries in. We still need to find some stuff to put on the doors. I found this and we could make some like wreaths out of it, but I'm not. This is super cool. It's like a light up angel that like changes color, so that's perfect. I think I'm gonna put this somewhere in the tack room or in a paddock. I like these like stick, like sticky back felt things that I was thinking we could put on the doors. That would look quite cool, but I'm just not sure it would come up. Ah, I found something. I think we're gonna make some like little things like that that go along. That'll look good. Oh my gosh, perfect. We're gonna put these on like there. And we also have another purple one. So that'll look quite good, like the two of them. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Ta-da. It like goes on the doors and it's like fun. So I don't really like them, but I don't know if I should move them to here. I'm gonna put them one there and one there. And just like leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Okay, so I think I like this one better, but like, I don't know, I think it's that one. So I'm going to put it there for now, and I can always change it just depending what you guys think in the comments. Okay, so that's done. Next. Okay, flash warning, but um, I found this Christmas tree and flash warning again. They're lights that like shine really bright. I really want some stuff over here to kind of decorate this area. Uh, I found this and it lights up, of course, and changes color. So I it lights up, so I'm thinking we can put it in the stable somewhere. But I'm not really sure again. I really need help for this. Like, you guys, if you comment down below, I will literally take your thoughts into mind. And, like, you guys have probably better thoughts than me. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure, like, what do I do? I'm gonna take these off and see if I can take the flowers out and kind of replace them with something a bit more Christmassy. So you can take the flowers out, but it ends up looking quite not that pretty. I'm just gonna keep them in for now and I think it'll be fine. Found the perfect thing to go in this little corner. Okay, so taking a little bit of a break from the Christmas decoration, I want to show you this barn that I've been working on for the past, like, five months. So, 
first off, I'm going to show you right here. So first off, we have this sign that says, all riders must wear a helmet. Then we have this yellow um, saddle pad that I got with the bridle right next to it. Also a spare lead rope and on all of this hook, there's also a ladder that we use if we, like, if they, no, not tall enough. Then we also have a metal hanging over here. Going over to this side, we have Sophie Taxit. We've got her, like, bridle, saddle, and field blanket. So now going into the stable, we have these two signs. One says wash door and the other says pony lessons on sale. And then we have, this is the wash bay or wash door. And it's pretty cool. Uh, so over here, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> We've got a grooming box, the key to something, a shampoo bottle, and the hose, and the tap that says hot on it, and that's pretty much it. And um, some apples down there. This has crane, oh my god. This has train, no, cr the, this has chain cross ties in this one and when you turn around there's a whole bunch of shelves that have like brushes, sponges and bottles and things and one of the brushes fell. On the opposite side we have the stables which I'm so excited to show you. So they have sliding doors, then they have um, chains that also open up to the stable and they're just on hooks. So that's pretty cool. And on these doors are just simply done like that. And it's actually quite easy, but yeah. There is a bucket hanging from there. And there is something really special about these plates that I want to show you. So taking it off the hook, here we have the name plates that I want to show you. That's really cool. Oops. Grab a pack of um, whiteboard markers and I will just show you the man. So, we have to open these up, pick your colour, and you can write, let's just say Rose, because oh, that's the only person that's in this state at the moment. Oh, yes. Nice. Give her a little love heart. And anything you want. It's quite fun. And then once you don't want it or you make a mistake, you can just erase it. Because it's got sticky tape on it. It's actually really easy to make. Um you can try it. You just get a wood piece. And put some sticky tape over it and find some whiteboard markers at home or just go to the, the craft store and you can buy a pack. That's actually what I did and I just found these in my color, favorite colors and they work so well and they're so cool. In the stables we have a trough and um, shavings and kind of, yeah. Okay, now out this way. We have a lead out paddock. You can imagine this, this stable is literally the same. So we have these little locks that take me forever to get off, but I will get to you in a sec. Okay, so then you can open up the door. Oops, there we go. And you can let the horse in and out, which I find quite cool. Out in the paddock right now is Rose, where we have fake grass, and a brown four piece fence gate. A time for the most detailed part is the office. I don't know if you can see that sign, but it says office. Underneath that is a couch that we have, which is a really cool feature. And underneath the couch, we have a little mounting block with some boots on it, two little feed bucket, and there's something else that I'll just 
It's very hard to see, but in there is like um, a hay bag. So when you walk in there to your right, you have this little shelf that has a bottle and a helmet. And then if you keep going, there's the light switch and the key that we saw from the washroom. Then we have this little feed um, things that open up and have feed in them. Then we have the first aid kit and it has a little sign underneath it that says first aid on the shelf. And then we also have next to the first aid kit, we have these two feed buckets and a like container full of oats. Underneath that, we have the sink that is very new to this, a new feature to this stable. It is a white sink made out of clay and there's a hot and cold. There's also soap next to it. And then underneath that, there is a little treat box right here. That's a treat box. And then we have a tax and we have a little feed chart with tiny mini chalk and underneath that we have a hay bale of course turning around oh, this is we have got two little shelves underneath but we'll start on top so first there's this little feed thing and it has two little parts that camera was not focusing and now it is Next to it we have um, some carrots and a cutting board. We also have this scooper for this feed bin. And on here it just says feed. And there's also some little drawings and things. So on here it says pre lesson for lease. And here we have a little picture of one of our younger riders that drew a picture at Pony Club and gave it to us. Underneath there, I don't know if you can see, but it says brushes and first aid. There's another first aid, but it's not as like important. It's just like cream and a bottle and like a spare needle and stuff. Here it says, and then on that pink little thing, it says brushes. That has a whole bunch of brushes that I'll show you because you'll be asking me. So I think it's gonna say, if it says brushes, I think it's gonna have brushes in it. It's like I suspected. This is actually from Playland Veil, not Schlag. We've got like a hair comb, we've got a um, pitchfork, a little hoof oil brush, and a brush. In we go. And put the lid on. That is my stable that took me like five months to make. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and back to the video. So I put like little presents around the Christmas tree. Sorry for like the very messy background. This will all be fixed. There's even my Easter decorations out, but I'm trying to focus on this part. So it's got like presents around it and I'm thinking I'm going to add more. I put the sleigh over there next to the car and trailer that I did something with. I don't even know. These are so cool. These are so cool. I'm so love. Look at that. So they change color and they're also like very um, glittery and shaky. So cool. And we have a penguin holding a little present. And then a reindeer holding a candy cane. And these are such good quality and they're like bases are made very glittery as well so these are super cool i'm so excited for these well i kind of made a mess with all the crisp i went too crazy get rid of these all boring things replace it with these cool things oh that looks so cool also made the i also made these like um flag game and you like uh, run on horses and then you have to collect the flag and then bring it to the next person and then they have to put it out and then blah 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 <laughs> there will be an episode on Christmas I meant for Christmas don't you think that just looks so cool I like that so much a little snowman he's so cute look at that they're like ah 
Ah, too much Christmas. There's a lot of stuff here, so let's move like to the paddocks where I'm gonna put lights everywhere. I'm so excited, but all the paddocks are looking super messy. Looky what I got! We got some lights. They're rose gold and they're super cool and colorful. Does it feel like Christmas is around the corner now? Because it sure does for me. Looky what I got! I got the lights. Does it feel like Christmas now? Because it sure does for me. I'm super excited. We're going to put them all around the paddocks and I'll see you when I'm done. This is what I've done so far. So that's all I got up to for part one. But make sure to stay tuned for part two when I finish off those lights over there and get a lot more of the Christmas stuff out. Bye. Oh, and of course I need my last intro. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. Bye. These are so cute. I just can't. I just can't. They're just 